Tiger Show, where we basically talk about half the stuff is dumb stuff out of our mouths, and the rest is pointless. Drop some knowledge on y'all fools. <laughs> don't learn today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so, since this is the first show, we're going to start off with just a quick intro. Michael, since you're down at the end, you want to start first? Yeah. Well, my name is Michael, <laughs> and let's see. <laughs> Um, I'm a freshman here at Cowley, and fresh out of high school, and I'm a theater major. Uh, I'm Samad J. I'm a sophomore. I've been here for two years. You can tell sophomore. Uh, but, you know, uh, I'm in theater. I want to become a theater teacher, but I like having fun, so. You like having fun? Yeah. It's in the name, isn't it? Yeah. James spelled backwards. James spells backwards. Your mom was clever. Your mom was a Yes, 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 yes. So my quick intro, um, I'm also a freshman like Michael, uh, straight out of high school. Straight uh, out of high school. <laughs> <laughs> I've wanted to make that reference so much. Um, for some folks, uh, I've actually, speaking of straight out of Compton, I'm going to say this now because people have been making all those different gifts. Mm-hmm. Um, one of them uh, is a guy from that I went to high school with, the... Uh, Put on his Twitter uh, straight out of Clearwater. I was like, really? <laughs> Just because it has a C, you're gonna do that. Hey, so, hey, gangster. <laughs> <laughs> Just get a little bit gangster. Uh, uh, so okay. we're actually a themed podcast uh, every week. Well, actually, we're bi-weekly. Um, no, that does not mean we'll be doing what your dirty mind is thinking. Uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll have two shows a week. Um, and I'll talk about that later on. But tonight's theme is college impressions or first impressions at college. Um, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Good night. Uh, as you can see, none of us have really done this before. Or I've done it a little bit. But um, I mean, we're just a bunch of friends that wanted to do this. Um, so the first thing that probably gets into a lot of college students' minds is the dorm. And are you both at Kirkdale, actually? Uh, he's in Kirk, though. I'm in okay. Okay. So, we're actually going to... Let's focus on Storbeck first. Okay. Let's talk about Storbeck. <laughs> Storbeck is like... And shit, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like... Okay. Um, my freshman year, I was in Central. Central is called... It's basically like a bigger, better dorm. And then, like, it goes like... You have, like, this hill. It looks beautiful in the morning. And then, like, you go from, like, this heavenly dorm into, like... This all rinky dink shack. That's what I call it. <laughs> it's like so broke. It's like okay, it was built. I think it was built like in like early, yeah, like eighties or something. Like they updated it in the eighties, and like you could tell, like it has like the eighties like style. It smells like the eighties. Like I could smell hairspray. Like that's what I, I, I could smell that man. I know. <laughs> you gotta clean something, there, I, I'm man. I'm so lazy. I want to clean it. <laughs> yeah, I want to, but I'm just like, like, I'm so busy with everything. I'm just like, I was like, I don't even know my sweet I, mates. I, I brought vinyl gloves from the <laughs> Dude, you need to get those to me, man. Because I don't know what's going on. Me and my roommate were just like in our room. We're just like, we haven't even met our sweet mates. Like, um, like we had encounters where they're like, oh, I don't know, but you or somebody like. I was using the restroom. He came in. I was like, "Hey, bro, I'm in the restroom." He's like, oh, "Okay, okay, okay." Oh no! I got, speaking of bathrooms, <laughs> okay, so it's just the guy thing I noticed because you know I went to the bathroom one time. I locked the doors so my sweet man can't, you know, just can't get it by my biz. And <laughs> you start, you see, you see the handle jiggle. So you're just like, you don't say anything. Yeah. Oh, so they're just gonna go away, and then it starts going more vigorously, and then you're just like, "Please, please, just go away." And then it keeps going, and then you. you Put your foot up on the door because you think they're gonna get through, and they're trying to peek through the crack. <laughs> and then, like, eventually they just start knocking on the door, and you have to say something. But you know, when you say something, it just sounds like you're a girl. Yeah, they like, so you're just like, um, occupy. Right. <laughs> and then, so he goes, Oh, oh, I'm sorry, man. And then, like, so I leave, and after I flush, I can see him, I can sense him on the other side of the door. <laughs> like listening to this toilet flush so like I go out my door unlock his door slam my door shut and he just goes boom <laughs> <laughs> that's how it is man. Um, 
So for, for those of you who are just curious because you heard a fourth voice, that's actually our producer in the background, <laughs> uh, Mr. Mr. Clinton. I do not have sex. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have sexual relations with that man. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Young Democrats is going to get honor butts for that. Uh, <laughs> I, was actually, I was actually supposed to go to their meeting today, and I completely forgot. <laughs> oh, democracy. Um, uh, that's fine. <laughs> The store back from that's actually the first storm that was built here, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like it was like the first one. You could t- like you can really tell. <laughs> like, 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 you, it's like it's really bad. You can tell like like it's straight up eighties. Like, okay, in my dorm room, like my roommate and I, we see these two dents in the door. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, they don't even update the doors, man. Like every like okay, we have the old rinkety closets. Like it's basically like a broke down closet. And like everybody else has like the little pull out shells oh, and all that. <laughs> like he got his music played and all that. That's but, darn it. but everybody has like the little pull out things. We got our <laughs> like we have to open up the closet and it's just there. We can't even put our snacks in a certain location. <laughs> and like your pull out game is strong. Your pull out game is strong, <laughs> man. It is strong, man. Oh, straight out of store back. <laughs> <laughs> straight out of store back, man. Uh, and what makes it weird is like we have <laughs> <laughs> What makes it worse is like our the third floor is like I think it's the noisiest third floor I have ever been in my life because we have like okay like Storbank has nice. there's like Mexican yeah Mexican <laughs> I'm not trying to be like you know like that type of guy like well they're saying like stereotypical stuff it's like you can hear them in like in their like down the hall Arriba! and like hey, hey, hey. like that's what you hear and then you hear music playing and just like. You have everybody on like one side of like the hallway, just like, can you guys please turn it down? <laughs> and like, and they're like, hey, yeah, yeah, they're like, hey, <laughs> oh, oh my like, 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 god, don't party with us, come party with us, so it's kind of all like, this. So, like no, so man. you're in the first dorm ever, um, Kirkdale, Kirkdale was like the second or third that was here, wasn't it? Yeah, and the worst part. Is, a, is right across from Storbeck. <laughs> <laughs> that is extremely true. We think so, you guys get our back. So, like, <laughs> so my room window, we got, I got a, I got a crappy view because you just got that parking lot with all these cars, and you got Storbeck's run down walls. And then I go out the front door, and I see what dorm I could have had central. Way <laughs> like, and I'm, it's like it sucks because it's like all males, and because it's all males. They, they think they can just take a shower, and they're like, oh, let's visit my, my brother's room. And they just walk in the hallway, <laughs> and I have hopefully like, in their towels. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, I've, been in, I've been in both, in Sorbeck, and, and we're not dishing on the college. It's or just no. there's, you know, we absolutely love being here. We love living on this place. I, just, I have to be part of the Senate. <laughs> um, <laughs> since you guys talked about your dorms, might as well talk about Kimmel, the honors dorm. Oh, like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that is like straight up, if you don't be quiet, fine. <laughs> you, oh, you just laugh, fine. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the door slam on accident? Fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a $15 fine if you slam the door. But but the RAs are very the RAs are very nice. One of them is uh, Tyler Felt, who's actually a backup for one of you guys mm-hmm. in case you can't come. Um, really nice guy. Um, I don't think he's the RA for my floor, but our manager is the men's tennis coach, Jeff Menino, who is really cool. The only time I've seen him get serious was actually this week. This week? Yeah. <laughs> so, we have one vacuum. I mean, Central has like three, I don't know how many Kirkdale, I don't know. I need to use it, though. Do we even have vacuums in Stormac? <laughs> he's so focused. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do we even have vacuums in Stormac? Our, our, uh... Who is our RA? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't even know their RA. I don't even know who he is. Is it RA or RCA? Yeah, like, I don't know who he is. I don't know who he is, but I don't know where his dorm room is. Yeah, that's what's... I don't want to, like, go knocking on the door and be like, are you my RA? <laughs> <laughs> no, we have... Okay, so we have one flippin' little vacuum, and somebody needs to empty that thing out. I think it's going to have to be me, because I'm the only responsible one. Um... <laughs> But back in response. Somebody, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, straight out of the pocket. But um, <laughs> we're gonna be making Compton jokes all night long. But um, we, somebody, okay. Whenever you go and get it, you have to write your. Nobody else does this but me, unfortunately. You have to write your name and your dorm room number on this like little whiteboard that's on his door. And I'm all cool with that. But somebody didn't do that, 
and somebody took the vacuum and it was gone for like two days straight. And next thing you know, you see this sign on the front door, like a second layer of doors, and it says, please return the vacuum in the biggest, blackest letters you can put on a basic sheet of paper. And it says, if I have to look at the cameras, you will be fine. <laughs> it was like, oh, sh- crap. <laughs> That's how it is, man. Yeah, yeah but, but it, it was like, return I bet it was returned right after that, wasn't it? Huh? It was returned right after that. Apparently. About like, no, like a day later. <laughs> <laughs> and I, before I get fine, let me clean the whole Looks door. Looks at the cameras, so that's who took it. <laughs> <laughs> I think, well, no, there was like, I, I don't want to bag on anybody, but there were a couple people, and I hope it was just tennis business, but there were a couple uh, a couple folks in his office late at night last night, so when I was going to my dorm and all that, which I have the best dorm in the freaking house. Sure. Shut up, man. <laughs> no, 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 the dorm room, it, it is awesome if you're, okay, if you're either in Central or Kimmel, and you have the dorm, it's kind of good, but it's kind of bad as well, if you have a dorm at the end of the hallway, that is amazing. The only bad part is, you're right next to the door that goes to the stairs, and there's not even a, sl- well, there is a slower, but it, when it locks, it is the loudest thing. It's almost as loud as slamming the door, which you can hear from the other side of the freaking oh, yeah. building. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which, okay, they were smart enough, because they don't do this at, Se- they didn't put them at Central, they didn't put them at uh, Storbeck, I don't believe, or Kirkdale. You can unlock your door, you know, if you have, like, if you're going in or out a lot. They were, <laughs> I don't want to sound rude, but the engineers were not smart enough to put door slowers on that thing, or whatever you call those. I'm sitting here like, are you kidding me? How much more money would it be to put those things on each of the doors? Like, like 30 bucks a yeah, door? Yeah, don't you get fined if you slam your door? Yeah, you get fined $15. $15. But, dollars. $15. but uh, the RAs are pretty nice, and Jeff isn't in there a lot. It's just mm-hmm. if you keep doing it. Yeah, yeah, it's annoying. Like, if you report somebody, which, it ha- the only, like, it's okay during the day, because, like, nobody's in their dorms. Uh, but if it's, like, 8 o'clock at night, or 10 o'clock at night, even 2 in the morning, I'm not happy. I'm not a happy camper. <laughs> I don't sleep well, so... And it's loud. It'll wake you up. Yeah, yeah. it does. It does. So, you all have... Well, unlike you guys, I only have one roommate because we have our own personal bathrooms. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Oh, God. <laughs> Another thing about bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> so... Our room needs to be clean. <laughs> it needs to be clean. That's because... That was it's, oh, it's so bad. So, you know... I'm in a musical, and I just get back from a really late rehearsal, and I was hoping I could use my toilet, and I get a text from my roommate saying, bro, did you clog the toilet? <laughs> and so it was like, because Cody said it wasn't him, so it's either you or it's our other sweet mate, and I'm just like, oh god, and I was like, oh, it's not going to be that bad, I'll just get a toilet plunger and fix it. Um, just picture applesauce. Oh! <laughs> bro, I had drinks over here. <laughs> and I'm so, the only one who's eating. He's doing the Arby's. <laughs> Trying to kill your producer. <laughs> <laughs> it was out for like three days because none of us wanted to oh call God. me. <laughs> because it's just like, mm, can you fix a toilet? And then they, s- they just assume and it was probably me because I'm Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, like, um, uh, but that's see. all that is. Yeah. Story back, like, you know, we got sweet mates, and we share the same restroom. And the problem is, like, we need to get a system going or something, because, like, <laughs> like at first it was clean. It was, like, straight up clean, and then, like, next thing we found, there's, like, toilet paper rolls on the floor, <laughs> and, like, our, our shower is, like, a mess. <laughs> like, I haven't even gone. You haven't <laughs> even gone? <laughs> Dang, man. Like, I've had to go to Galley Jones. <laughs> no, it's bad because, like, at first, we, like, do we even have sweet mates? Because, like, I can hear, like, the TV going on or one, who's watching TV. I can hear it going on in, the, like, the room. But I'm just like, they never use the restroom. I was like, what's going on with this, man? And uh, it is weird. Like, I never happened to, like, the only times I do is when he's jiggling the handle. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's really how it is. Yeah. Um, something that has occurred that occurred to me the day I got here. Well, not the day I got here, but the day that the cafeteria opened. The first day I had cafeteria food. Um, I walk in. I go into the cafeteria. This is also when I first meet Grandma, who is an amazing woman. Um, she oh, fell yeah. down today, but she only broke a nail, so that's a good thing. Oh, okay. So, yeah. She was giving, like, a cake to some kid for, for his birthday. Yeah, and she does that. Yeah. He's a real, she's a really nice uh, individual, and I hope she stays here 
At least the rest of my college year here. Yeah. Um, shut up, Clint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to say what he did. Um, but I, I walk in and I see this. Clint did. <laughs> Why? I, I see our fifth person is talk now. That's Steven. Um, Hi. That's, yeah. Uh, he's another backup. He's our fourth backup, actually. Um, but I walk in and I go into the actual calf area and I see this amazing food. And I'm like, did I just die and go to heaven? <laughs> because high school food was awful. It was. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> and then <Freak>. like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but what makes this worse is like nothing bash on the food or nothing because you know we we eat it anyway. <laughs> um, it's like the first week is like heaven, and then like after that first week. It just goes down and down. It has its peaks. Down. It has its peaks. And like steak night, it's all right. But like sometimes you'd be like, dang, man, I want something else. And yeah. like, they give you like little punk old, like little shrimp. And they give you like some chicken. Toast. Those are good though. Oh my gosh. And we had like fried fish. And I just thought, oh my God, this is like Long John Silver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I took a bite out of it. And I was like, this ain't no Long John like, Silver. <laughs> I don't like cod. I tried the cod today. I was not a fan. I'm not a big. Fr- the only fish I've had that, well, besides the shrimp, which I didn't have the first time, but I had the what was it two nights ago that we had steak night? Yeah, it yeah. was two nights ago. So I thought that was good because, well, the only way I, no, it's good either way. But what I did is I took one of those little, uh, not ceramic, but those bowls that you get mm-hmm. and that you can put little stuff in, and I put a one steak sauce, that seasoning they have, and like hot sauce in there, mix it all. Up. You may think since I'm getting weird looks from Sonata. No, no, that's okay. That's no, okay. He, it's, he sound like he's straight up from a cook shop. <laughs> now, what we're going to do here, we're going to put the A1 sauce in there. Put the season there. you got to put BAM! <laughs> you just mixed an Australian with Emerald Legato. Yeah. Where, where did that come from? Pretty much you sound like you're like from our camp, you know, because we like hot food, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but it was good. Um, but the only fish I, other than the fried shrimp that I had, because I'm not a big fan of it, but it was good. Um, was tilapia. I've never had tilapia before, and I swear to God, it's the greatest thing, greatest yeah, tilapia. Really great. ever had. Yeah. So thank you, Grandma. Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna brag Quick on Grandma tip. here. Always befriend your cafeteria ladies. Yes, yes. because they will slight, they will like scoop you an extra mashed potato. <laughs> and it's like, Give you a little bit more extra gravy on that chicken fret steak. Mm-hmm. Or and then on your birthday, steak. they will get you cake. Yeah, Grandma was nice enough. Grandma was a really good person. Um. God, high school food. <laughs> I remember we had this, um, yeah, God, it was listed on there as nachos. Okay, oh, so beef it? nachos. Here's yeah. the deal, though. So they used to be, like, real cheese, and, like, they would, like, mix the beef with it. So now they served it separate, which I thought, okay, I'll just mix it anyway. I get my food, I sit down, after, of course, putting it in the coat and all that. I sit on down, and I get out a chip. I'm like, I'm going to try the cheese first. I put my chip in. I don't even get halfway down the chip. It just stays there. It's like the solidest, grittiest nacho cheese. I mean, you could have thought you were eating that um, uh, grits. Oh, God. You could have thought you were eating grits, but cheesy. I did not touch that thing. It was the nastiest looking thing I ever seen. There were like little green things in there. Those weren't even jalapenos. <laughs> I, I, like, I know we had nachos at my school. And they just threw on tortilla chips. You're like, okay. And then the cheese was like, oh, it, it looked like it was like some weird like super glue mixed with cheese. Oh my you god! Like, you take a bite, and you can't <laughs> swallow, and you can't you open can. your mouth to talk. You, you can. can't hear him. He's doing a very nasty face. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, the food is amazing. Absolutely. I the cookies. Holy crap! They would never serve like. They, okay, you could get the cookies in my high school. I went to Clearwater High School, and um, I'm not bagging on the high school. I'm bagging on the federal programs. <laughs> <laughs> but you could get take the cookie, and you could knock it on the table, and it would not break. It was the solidest cookie. Oh, my God. I think cinder block cookies? Like, cinder block cookies. <laughs> you could fight people with that, like, I throw my cookie at you. Hey, he has a cookie, yo. Like, watch out. That's what they, they like, Naruto. 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 <laughs> discus, you just throw the discus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, cook, uh, there's a whole new cookie clickers right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, Cap is, Cap is amazing. I love yeah. And it's buffet style. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God, thank God. Yeah, I, I know. Like, I don't get enough food. <laughs> they, they knew my face after the first two days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, man. Uh, I didn't know it was buffet style.
first uh, my first year. I thought it was like you get oh, no. one plate and you just like that was it. Yeah. And then like all my friends like I was like I'm still hungry. They're like why ain't getting more food? I was like you only can get one plate. And they're like it's buffet. I was like hey, I was like buffet. <laughs> but, no, I found out because I met Grandma. Actually, no, no, no. I unofficially met her when I first got my my first plate of food. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I went up because I noticed her name tag and said, Grandma, I introduced myself and all that. And she gives me like facts of the days every now and then. Oh, or yeah. every day now. That's what awesome. she does. Yeah. So, <clears throat> and I was like, you know, really great food. You know, I wish I could have tried whatever that was. You know, there was like something I didn't get because you can only get two entrees. Mm-hmm. And she was like, well, go get some. I'm like, really? And I thought she was giving me special treatment. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was getting special treatment. And she goes like, it's buffet. And I was like, Hell yeah! <laughs> there was, um, my why are you sounding like a black? My my, boy, okay, my voice just my voice just met, hit a new octave right there. <laughs> oh gosh! No. So so child. <laughs> oh sweet child. Oh, we had a black cafeteria lady. But, um, <laughs> there was one time where I'm sitting down next to Samaje, I believe, mm-hmm. and the grandma comes out and she's like, "You," I'm like, oh. "What?" She's like, "Come here," and I'm like. And Samadhi was looking at me like, <laughs> He's like, yeah, I was like what, what's going on? Here? And, I was, and I walked in, it was like, me? And she's like, mm-hmm. And she like, gave me that finger. And she's like, come here. Gave me the grandma then, finger. And, <laughs> she's shorter than you, but she puts her hands on her hips. She's scared. And then, like, <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's intimidating. And so I get up there, and then she's like, I put out this salad out just for you. I, was like, I saw you look at that, and it was empty, so we refilled it just for you. And you're going to get up and leave? <laughs> and she was like, and so I, I went up there and I like ate as much salad as I could. <laughs> you, you do not say no to grandma. You can't. Yeah. Really say no to grandma. No. Don't tell me mad about the calf. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what. Okay, I don't know what happened, but like something happened with the cups. Oh. Okay. No. okay they usually give us like some little sip cup. That's why I call them little sip cup. And out of nowhere, I didn't go to lunch because like I was tired. I was like, yo, like I'm in rehearsal. I need to get some sleep. Mm-hmm. So, like, I was just in my room, like, you know, looking at my ceiling, chilling, relaxing. And I see my roommate with this big old cup. I'm like, where you get that at? He's like, oh, the cat. Like, something happened with the cups. And, like, I was like, oh, okay. So, I finally go down to get this cup. This cup is, like, big. Mm-hmm. And it got a little, like, not even sippy cups, no like more. Like, styrofoam. It got a little styrofoam. <laughs> like, you got water cups. I'm like, I don't want no water cup. <laughs> they ran out. No, and it, it was like that for, like, two days. <clears throat> yeah. And then they just stopped doing. Yeah, they just cups. stopped. It was like it was like heaven. It went from like oh, to oh, I was, I was, it went central to store. Yeah, it went central to store back real fast. Like I was told that uh, that their shipment didn't like their shipment got back up on cups for some reason. I also heard like somebody like took the cups. yeah somebody took the cups. yeah yeah somebody like just came in. Oh and no, the trick the is like if you get those like <laughs> those okay, so they're like you go to like a Taco Bell, they're like small cups. They're good yeah. though. I like using them. The problem with them. And I'm not saying go get new cups because they work. Is I even have one right here too. The issue is the stinking condensation. Oh yeah. These things like I can pick it up now, and it's so wet on the bottom of it. Mm-hmm. So I see people double cup it, and I guarantee you that's what they did with the taller ones. Like those are medium breeds. Like you go to Brahms, you can get those size of things. So that's exactly what they did. They double cupped it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that sounds so wrong too. Um, <laughs> Sounds like we're talking about a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that was to be Michael. I was, expect, I was expecting Clinton to do something. <laughs> I knew it was easy. <laughs> yeah, um, you're talking about cups. We're not. We've already stated our names, so if you if we talk about our roommates, they're gonna know. Um, but you suck. <laughs> <laughs> crap. Um, I'm in Kimmel, and of course I only have to deal with one roommate unless somebody. I have Marcellus, who is. Uh, he's a international student who plays tennis and that dude I don't know if you've heard him sing he can sing like it's like listening to um not Pitbull what's God. Daddy Yankee huh Daddy Yankee that's on the phone like, da, 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 da. like yeah, 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 yeah it's exactly like that it is really good like you can hear him through okay that's another thing that I know uh, oh, we're not gonna get on that topic but um <laughs> I was going to talk about like half how half my room is a prison because it's got cinder blocks on it. They're great apart, man. It's got cinder block parts on like my side. All my walls are just bricks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. White, yeah. white walls. But, uh, <laughs> walls. But my roommate is from Winfield, where a majority of the students uh, yeah. come from. Noah, he's actually one of the backups too. We're going to be talking about backups all night long. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want you two out. 
<laughs> but um, he's a really cool guy. <laughs> and I look up my roommate on Facebook, and I thought he was gonna be like six foot. Oh, eight. you know Jerry, don't you? Big old yeah. Oh, Jerry. Jerry's awesome. And I thought he was gonna, just gonna be like this really big football player who just would just tower me in the room, <laughs> and like. <laughs> I don't know. I was expecting something totally different. He's only six foot. He's like five inches small. Like, <laughs> it's okay. And he has an awesome beard. But then he also thought from my picture, because my mom is like really short, and I'm like 5'7", and she's like 5'2". Oh, wow. Um, he thought I was going to be taller than him. So that was a huge shock. When I just walked into the room, and he just looked at me, he just looked me up and down, and he was like, you're a lot shorter than I thought you would be. <laughs> And I was like, you're, you're a lot shorter than I thought you were going to be, too. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> you're, who you? I haven't met your roommate so much. Uh, Who's that? It's Sheldon. Uh, oh, you have Sheldon? Sheldon, I've been meaning to meet this guy. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. He's a graphic yeah. designer, isn't he? Yeah. No, he's a painter. Yeah, he's, a painter. Yeah, he's amazing. Um, he's a painter. It's, painter. it's cool. funny because... Uh, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luke, we all know somebody. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. When I first got here, Sheldon was not my roommate. He was, oh, okay. We lived down the hall from each other, and I had this guy named Clayton. Okay, Clayton at first, he seemed cool, and like the boy had problems, <laughs> but you know, he, he who doesn't, man? I mean, who doesn't? Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see, he was okay, like, at, like he was a baseball player, and so when you think of a baseball player, you just think, oh, he's gonna be wearing Oakleys, and he's gonna be a douchebag. Like, that's really <laughs> what you think. Like, when, you see, when you see a baseball player, that's really what you think is Oakleys <laughs> wearing a stupid hat. And, like, all this thing. Just this attitude. Just attitude, yeah. right? And, like, he chewing. wasn't. What? Chewing. Yeah, chewing. man. Chewing. Oh, ew. No, I'm no. not about that. And so, it was okay. You know, we were just pretty cool. And then, like, something happened, like, second semester. And, like, I switched roommates. Because I was just like, I can't handle Clayton no more. <laughs> and then Sheldon became my roommate. And, like, that should have, that should have happened, like, happened before, like, all this happened. It should have been me and Sheldon at the beginning. Good show, oh, man. Yeah, Sheldon's and like, awesome. I haven't met him yet, but he, I love his work. Yes. He made the... Um, even though I might be a freshman, I actually got thrown into the editorial staff for newspaper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they want... Or Meg Smith, who is the... Um, pretty much the newspaper teacher. She's or, pretty much the mass communications Yeah, 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 well, yeah she's, she's mass communications so director. Without that, having to go yes. <laughs> Um, But she wanted me to do the website, so I was automatically... Named webmaster, and I haven't done anything yet, but I'm going to. I haven't slacking, buddy. Well, no, because uh, I have to do stories, so I have to do two stories, and plus we're still trying to work out everything. I, actually, he was on the Clinton was on the computer that is now the web computer. Uh, iMac six is yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, so I got named webmaster and got put on the editorial staff. And so I did a story on in, the impact program, which are either you in that? I'm in impact. You're in impact. I'm kind of trying to be the next semester. Okay. It's a really great program. Uh, Roxana James is the director, amazing uh, individual. Um, I only have, Diana Flickinger is my only teacher, though. She teaches Comp 1. And, um, uh, what was it? <laughs> um, we, I'm trying to think. Um, she had me do a story on Impact, and I, I wanted a picture of their staff, but I didn't know what else. And then Caitlin, who was one of our photographers, goes like, hey, you know, Sheldon can do something. I'm like, who the heck is Sheldon? <laughs> and so, yeah, cause I don't know who he is. <laughs> Everybody else knows him. I don't know who he is. I haven't met him. Uh, I'm going to laugh if I've like, seen him on campus and I don't know who he is. He looks like <laughs> Gerald from Hey On. Yeah, that's basically what he has. Like, <laughs> oh, from hey on. Oh, oh, my like, goodness. He's hot. He's tall. He plays basketball, and he's just pretty cool. He's got that I probably have seen him there. His paintings are pretty... Yeah, yeah. so, and he made one of the deals for Impact, and or, or for my Impact story, and I was extremely impressed. He's also doing stuff for my intramural story, which, Sheldon, I, even though I haven't met you yet, I hope to meet you in the next few days, but you are amazing, man. I'm going to brag on you there. <laughs> just pop your hand in the back of Mark Flickinger's painting class before you go to Meg's. Oh, I'm not. I'm, not, like, I'm probably not going to walk. Room. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's like right there. Um... How are classes? That's a good question. <laughs> are you guys surviving? I gotta tell you. <laughs> <laughs> His face got so serious. <laughs> so, you know, I started off the year with 19 credit hours, which is already pretty crazy. They usually cap it off at like 17. And then I hear about like our CC singers, which is like our um, audition choir. I go for it. I get in it. 
I didn't think I was going to get in it. And then on my own time, I'm going into, like, I'm learning the choir music because I'm not in choir either. And so basically now I'm taking 21 credit hours. Jeez. And... Plus the FYE class. Oh, God. <laughs> the, the class is so pointless. So... <laughs> my classes, I have 8 a.m. classes, usually get out at like 1, 11, but then on Thursday, it sucks during college, I got classes from straight from 8 to 2.20, and, and then I got to put in my hours for like, for my scholarship towards the shows, You're from like, yeah, yeah, from 2.30 to like 5.30, eat dinner, after I didn't eat lunch, and then I go to rehearsal at 6.30. So... <laughs> I warned you. I you warned you. should ease your way in. <laughs> you got to ease it in. I warned you. Um, for any future student, I recommend doing what I'm doing. And it's just because you can get out of college, in my opinion, a lot faster. I take summer classes. I took two classes online over the summer. Um, and I got really acquainted to the Blackboard system, which they're trying to teach you. Okay, no, they should be teaching you how to use for some students in FYE. Um, that's a whole other discussion we won't have. Um, but I got really acquainted with Blackboard, and that's a quick way to do college because I'm taking 15 credit hours. Mm -hmm. I'll probably throw in 18 next semester, and I'll just do another six over the summer. Because it's manageable. You can still go and work. I worked at the local rec center in Clearwater. Yeah. And you know, I made money while investing in college, you know. I didn't even pay for college my own money. Half of it was a uh, scholarship. The other half was um, uh, through a different program that mm -hmm. donated money to me. So oh, Endowment? Yeah. Huh? Endowment? No, 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 no. That's, uh, no, no. Endowment will only qualify for fall and spring. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, my deal was this program, this business program that I did in high school that you can do until you're 22. Uh -huh. um, I don't know if anybody... Here, Callie knows what I'm talking about. Actually, no, one person would, but it's called Youth Entrepreneurs. It's it's uh, funded through Coke Industries, but there's a whole set of program. Um, I actually need to work on their stupid site. I haven't done that yet. Uh, there's only one thing I'll have time to do for, but um, I mean, I use that money. Mm -hmm. I use their money to get this laptop, which you guys can't see because this is audio, but um, I have this laptop right in front of me. Yeah, I can't see it. It's too quiet. <laughs> but he's still looking in the camera like it's gonna look. <laughs> yeah, the cap is on. <laughs> he's looking straight at the camera. I do want to warn people because I did not do any. Okay, you guys can't see this also. I didn't do any writing really over the summer. Um, <laughs> shut up. I didn't write a lot with a pencil over the summer because it was all online classes, and I didn't just write in general. And I. I'm taking Frank Arnold's world history. Now, Frank is an amazing teacher. I'm bragging on about everybody in this college so far. Uh, yeah, but, but it is a great college. <laughs> it is a great college, though. Um, and it's a lot of writing when it comes to the notes. And I've done a lot of writing for newspaper. I've done a lot of writing for just about every other class. And I pulled, I pro probably will cause it, I pulled a flipping muscle writing. I don't know how that's possible. Yeah, see? <laughs> I don't know how that's possible. But I'm wearing a brace. I've had my brace off since the beginning of this podcast, but I just put it back on because um, it's hurting. How do you pull a muscle? I don't know. Oh, how do you do that? that? That's more embarrassing than what I do. That's all that happened. That is why I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty, right that on. is our theory because I haven't lifted anything heavy. You should have just been like, hey, man, I'm going to push you. I just go to the pencil curl. Yeah, what? pencil curl. You know, still, like, <laughs> that sharpener. It's like, get but, it in there. Get it in that twerk like, in. Uh, I remember noticing it yeah, Thursday. <laughs> like this lump where it's not supposed to be. I was like, ah, oh, I probably got bruised. It's going to go down later. Friday, it's hurting like none other. I get an ice pack. I don't bring it back home because I completely forget about it. Mm -hmm. uh, we have stuff at home, though. And so we ace wrap it, so I ace wrap it during the night, and I sleep with that. I don't ace wrap it anymore. I slept with it for the first time without an ace wrap last night, and it felt amazing. So right now it's just having to wear the brace during the day most of the time. Stop laughing, Clint! <laughs> Keep on laughing. I mean, so, I, I just can't stop staring at it. <laughs> <laughs> That's because now I have the brace on. How do you sleep with that thing? <laughs> I don't sleep with it. I take it off now. You take it off? I would, I, no, I would ace wrap it at night. Mm -hmm. Now I don't do that because it's... Uh, the swollen has gone extremely down. It's feeling better, but I only put it on when it's hurting. Clint's going to just die of laughing here because he won't stop. Um, so, warning. Be careful when 
and you're writing. <laughs> Write a lot in the summertime. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Excessive writing. God, people are going to make fun of me of that now. I, but that's our theory. That's the only thing. Right on. <laughs> and of course I'm left hand. Oh, God, I shouldn't have said that. Because um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah, people are now on. What the hell is that like? Yeah. What, how long have we been in this podcast already? It's been like... We started, uh, you're at, um, it's like 30, 30 minutes. 36. 36 minutes. Okay, let's go ahead and play a game. We're done. <laughs> yeah, we're done. So, so that's the... That was the discussion of the night. Um, next week, I'm going to say this again later, but next week's going to be college life advice. Um, dude, what's our Twitter? What's our college media Twitter? Do we have... I don't know. Do we have a news press Twitter? We need a Twitter so people... I don't know. Um, here, you guys can follow us at... At nightly, tig- at nightly underscore tigers uh, on Twitter and <laughs> send us suggestions. And stuff. Dot com. Dot com. Um, <laughs> um, hold on, let me actually write that down because I didn't plan on this. Uh, now you're going to be up all night making a dang Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should have thought about that before. I should have. <laughs> I should have, man. I am so busy right now being <laughs> freshman representative and every class. You already got the job, Chase. Stop trying to Oh, I'm not trying to impress. Anyway, so we're going to play a game. Um, we actually, ha- I actually have three games on the list, but we're only going to do one per podcast. And tonight's game is Dumbest Google Search. Now, if any of you guys are Rooster Teeth fans, you know of Gavin or Google, but they actually give you options and you have to... Gavin Free is the dumbest guy on that show. Um, like, I remember one time, so like, um, can, if you, can you suffocate when breathing in or something like that? I don't know how you can do that. So I pretty much went on Google and I fa- hey, shut up, Michael. You're not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like his. I'll go ahead and talk about it. his theory was that you could um, breathe in so much that your rib or no, it was exhaling. You can exhale so much that your ribs will just poke a hole in your lungs. That was his theory. Don't try it. <laughs> Gosh. Smudgy's over here trying to kill himself. So I'm going to turn my computer over here so they can see it. I uh, pretty much just made a PowerPoint so it would be easier for a game. You guys can't see it. But I'll read off the answers each time. Uh, and I'll read what's going to be. So there's only six of them. It's Michael versus Smudge. I wonder who's going to win. I feel like Smudge is going to win. I feel like Smudge is going to win. Are we going to try this? All right. So first one. I hate it when dot, dot, dot. Your toe gets stuck in the faucet. <laughs> So, like, if you're in a tub. Well, I mean, <laughs> when you're a baby, the sink is your tub. <laughs> this Did this happen to you? <laughs> no. No, no, no. Yeah, oh, it happened, it happened, it happened All right, Samadhi, what do you think? Uh, you know, um, let's see. I hate it. God, <laughs> <laughs> There's so many. There's so many. There's so many. There's so There's many. So many. Yeah. Um, let's see. <laughs> Like, Think of all the idiots in the world. Like there is so many. <laughs> oh gosh. I love how Michael just came up with. He just came like right off. Like, right off the, like, he was like the child was like, "I hate it when I stub my toe," and he's like, the "Toe in the." Fire. I was like, "Oh, he just beat me out of that." One. I can't even say the toe no more. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of one that's really, really stupid. I um. I hate it when uh. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I hate it when Gar started. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm trying to think because it's like you don't even have to think. No, no, this is more like because it's like I heard something <laughs> that made me really think. It'll just like it's like some guy like did some weird thing. He's like, I hate it when like he's like, I hate it when people call it a building when it's already built. Oh, <laughs> that, that would like, make sense. Though. Like, that's a good argument. Like, it's just like that's what he, like this guy was straight up. He's like, why we call it a building if it's already built? I'm like. Alright, so what do you think your answer is? What do you think this answer is? <coughs> what do you think the dumbest search that I found? Mm. Is it good to step in the hot ground? <laughs> no. I hate it when I sing in the shower and I see a spider. Like, <laughs> <laughs> when you're, I hate it when I'm singing in the shower and I see a spider. Did this happen to you? I mean, I saw a wasp. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then I was camping. Just, and now I had a flip flops on because I don't want to get no shit on my feet. <laughs> oh, oh, it's okay. It's, it's lit. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, okay. it's and, fine. um,. So, I'm in my flip flops and I see a wasp flying around. And the water, like, I can't like direct it to hit the wasp. So I take off a flip flop, bouncing on one foot. 
while I'm trying to smack it with the other one, and it's not going well. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so let's see what the dumbest search... I actually got this off of image. I didn't, like, type it in. I found this one off a of stupid image. All right. So, I hate it when Jesus rides dinosaurs in my house. What? <laughs> I wish <laughs> Jesus. 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 I wish Jesus. I would have found that one though. How did you come up? Oh my god! I want to know um, how you came up with that. One. I think I've seen it in like iCarly before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that the only thing you see? I'm trying to make a terrible pun there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let's move on. Um, okay. Um. So second one. So no, but actually, I'm gonna give a point to. Oh, she's taking Snapchat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give a point to, um, is that Snapchat? Yep. Okay. Snapchat. I'm gonna give a point to Michael on that one, because that's the most creative yeah, thing I've ever heard. Yeah. So yeah, you get points if you're the closest one, or if you make it hilariously funny. Little mass. Yeah. Alright, so now it's 1-0, Michael. Alright, next one. How come when I dot dot dot? I'm gonna give you a, no, I'm not gonna give you a hint. This is gonna be too funny. We're gonna be rolling on the floor for this one. <laughs> Clint's looking at me like I know. <laughs> I told him. <coughs> Samaja, you go first this time. It happens more than you think. Oh <laughs> my god, no. <laughs> no! No, 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 Wait, no. I'll come whenever I go to the bathroom, I drop my phone in the toilet. <laughs> you I dropped my phone in the toilet and it made me cry. <laughs> it made me cry because like I was doing like I was like doing something and I hit my arm and I was like, oh, and like what made it it was on the rim. And I was like, oh, I got it. And like, I actually bumped my toilet. And it said, Toop. And I was like, no. It wasn't was hard. In that moment. Yeah. In that moment. No. no. Did, did you go in at first? What? Did you go in at oh, first? Oh, no, dude. Okay. I didn't go in, bro. Oh, my God. In that moment, the. Moment. <laughs> not in ours. In no. that moment, the adopted dog commercial started playing in someone Jay's head. In the arms oh. of an angel. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she said that it does. If you turn off the music to that, it looks like it's a funny commercial. It does. Oh, it that's awful. <laughs> oh my god. god. That's what she said the first day of her PR Meg, class. Meg, what? Oh goodness. Okay, so how come when I dot dot dot, he said, "What did you say?" Um, whenever I go to the bathroom, I drop my phone in the toilet. Okay, so how come when I, every time I go to the bathroom, I drop my phone in the toilet? Okay. okay, so Samajay. You're kind of slacking here. I'm slacking because, you know, I got an intelligent mind. Oh! An intelligent mind. No, no, no. That doesn't work <laughs> yeah, when you think it's stupid How thing. come <coughs> when something happens racially, I always think it's because I'm black? <laughs> <laughs> like, something could happen if you like, be oh, like, like somebody will look at me and say, I'm black, because that's why I'm black, right? <laughs> Alright, well, okay. That's a, that's a so, hold on to your seats. Clint, you may want to sit down. He's standing right now. He's going to have to sit. Okay. <laughs> How come when I... Pump, nothing comes out. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you. <laughs> I will tell you. When I first saw this, my initial thought was a water, water pump. <laughs> <laughs> I did not think what you guys are thinking. About. I mean, it, it, it happens more. Uh, no, no, no. Pump. Okay, but I'm not pump, nothing pump comes out. <laughs> you got a problem there, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, it's maybe you need to crank the... It's oh, God, it's up. technique. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that perfect motion in. No! <laughs> no. <laughs> we're talking about, like, water pumps. Yeah, we're talking about water pumps. I don't know if... if you gotta do it at a certain speed. <laughs> <laughs> Take some rest in between. You gotta have some crazy muscles. Yeah. It actually has to be water pumps. You can't pump pull out. a muscle. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. So none of you guys got even close to that. I'm not even gonna give you points for that one. Uh, uh, one point. <laughs> you get a point. You don't want to be associated with that kind of a problem. Oh my god. Water pumps, guys. Anyway. Alright, next one's only two words. Why is dot dot dot? <coughs> Why I will give you a hint for dots. this one. Yeah. Why is that three dots? <laughs> <laughs> no. So, here, I will give you a hint to this one because it, it, you guys are theater kids. It is a movie reference. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are, well, no, that'd be better for movie club folks. Yeah, actually. movie club folks. That's okay. Uh, um, <coughs> what kind of movie reference? Like, I can't tell you the movie, otherwise you'll get a straight. Like, is it like a genre? It has to do with alcohol. Alcohol. Don't drink and drive. 
Unless it's on video games. You can <laughs> GTA! GTA! Anyway, we're doing that on that. Uh, all right, so what do you think? Movie reference. Uh, I will say I'm the captain. I just spilled freaking clear water on my shirt. You got clear America. America! Yeah, it's, it's carbonated water. I got clear, clear water on clear water. Clear water. <laughs> Yeah, Alright, so why is dot dot dot? It's a movie reference. I'll even give a better hint. Well, yeah. shoot. Should I? Johnny Depp. Why is the rum always gone? Hey! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is, why is the rum always gone? I find it. Thank you. Oh, if we have to copyright that, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> da, 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 da. There, okay, it, speaking so. of, he has not done a single good movie. Since Pirates of the Caribbean, in my opinion. No, Black Mass looks pretty good. Black Mass looks pretty good. I haven't seen that one yet. No, it, it, oh, is that coming out? Yeah. Oh, so you guys want to play like Whitey Bulger? Mm -hmm. Hardy Why is the room always gone? Hardy Bulger. So, we all dot dot dot. <coughs> we all we live all... in the Yellow Submarine. <laughs> we, all... <laughs> uh, we all live in the Yellow Submarine. No, it's not a music reference. It's not a music reference. Actually, I don't remember what this one is. <coughs> We all must dig a body up someday. <laughs> oh, what? Where's that from? <laughs> Was that from? Rock and Roller. Rock and Roller? <laughs> Rock and Roller, Mike. Rock and Roller. Um, I don't know what... I don't know. Um, oh boy. We all... We all sing in the shower? Singing in the shower. Uh-uh. <laughs> that song is awful. I've never listened to it. All right, we all... I okay, so it's B. It's like a buzzing B. Long bulletin board. I don't get it. It was the dumbest thing I saw. What? Yes, you. you know, this, this doesn't make any sense. We all be long. Long. We all be be long bulletin board. Or there's somebody that illiterate, just like we all belong. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. I'm dyslexic. I can't I was like we got all belong on bullets and boards. If Morgan Freeman said it, we wouldn't care. Yeah, we wouldn't care. We all belong. You know, I was supposed to do half We all belong on a bulletin board. So folks, I actually screwed up. We weren't supposed to do the game yet, but we did it anyway. Actually, how much time we got on that? Okay, so we'll we'll wrap up with this. So before the game I'm actually supposed to do half of the week and upcoming events here on Cali College. Uh, App of the Week is chosen by uh, Kayla, who is a photographer on the sports, <clears throat> on the, or excuse me, not on the sports, but on the newspaper. Uh, Check it out. She's doing the, she did the top ten uh, apps, didn't yeah. she? Article? Yeah, hour. yeah, so that will be coming out the 18th of September, uh, if you guys want to read that article. Uh, but App of the Week this week for September, oh, 9-11, um, for 9-11 is... Duolingo, and what it is, it's a free uh, mini-game learning app that allows you to learn different language. Um, it can teach you a ra a German, Arabic, Dutch, French, etc. It just plays a different... Are you looking the app up? Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Maja just immediately got out of his phone. I would love to learn the language that people yeah. assume but it I plays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It plays, uh, you get to learn the language. So it's almost like another, um, what's that big... Resistance. Rosetta Stone. It's almost like Rosetta Stone, but it's free and it's an app on your phone. Um, from what I've seen, it's almost like it's got the same kind of setup as Trivia Crack, almost, or at least that's what it reminds me of. Um, absolutely free. The Wall Street Journal says it's far and away. I, this is what they say: far and away the best learning, or excuse me, the best language learning app. Hi. He's taking another Snapchat. Hello. Hey. Um, we're gonna have to like restrict you from that phone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm paying attention. Did you catch me in that? So, mm -hmm. Dude, just, just to know, <laughs> I don't get. Here's what I want. I, I'm gonna mention this real quick. I don't want to have a discussion over it, but I want to mention it. I don't get why language class language classes don't utilize these kinds of programs. They <laughs> should. They should be out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> they should utilize it at least. All right. So upcoming we events. Probably get that out. You learn German in a week. <laughs> I wanted to learn Italian for the longest time. I bought like a little little Italian dictionary. Never read it. <laughs> <laughs> we sold it at the next garage I, like two I months later. I need this app. Events um, today and tomorrow is actually the Tennis Tiger Invitational uh, over in both Arc City and Winfield. I think they're actually going to Winfield tomorrow because they did it in Arc City today. Mm -hmm. uh, I was unable to help the event staff for that because I had work. 
Um, <clears throat> tomorrow, which I will be at actually, is home soccer game against it's men and women's soccer against Barton County College uh, at one and three p.m. tomorrow. Hope I see you out there. Actually, I'm going to be working both shifts. Um, we lo they lost their first game. I don't know who they played. Uh, but they lost one nothing. But I'm really excited to see them get back on their feet and be one and one in the season, as far as I know. Uh, on the 14th, they have there's a Pi Theta Kappa meeting at the Brown Center. Um, I'm not, I don't know nothing about those organizations. So I hope are any of you guys? No, 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 no. No. Okay, so those are like the those are fraternity or those sororities are those fraternity or fraternity <laughs> fraternity groups. Uh, they'll give out, uh, I know they offer scholarships, you got to pay like $65 to get into it. But for those of you in Pi Theta Kappa, be sure to get in on that. Um, on the 16th, there's a math, Mulvain, excuse me, there's, Mulvane's having their math and science club meeting at 11.30 a.m. They have no idea where that is because we're in our city. Uh, also on the 16th, there's a softball game against Southwestern. It's a scrimmage, it's not an actual season game. Um, at 3 and 5 p.m., <clears throat> And on that same day, which that's this Wednesday, this Wednesday, <laughs> Wednesday, guys, um, Wednesday. This, this Wednesday, there's also a volleyball game here in Arc City against La Bet. God, I'm assuming that's how you say this. It's L A B E double T E at uh, six thirty p.m. It's over at the gym. I'll be working there. I don't know. Is that how you say? Uh, it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get these from the master calendar. Um, and then finally on my list, I've got two actual things. For the 17th, we have the free food festival in the right room from 12 to 1 p.m. Please come. You guys are going to have a blast. They have free pizza. Later on that day at the soccer fields, it's against Kansas City, some college up in Kansas City, uh, at 2 and 4 p.m. Men and, women's, men and women's soccer. God, I cannot speak. Um, but I'm hoping uh, that'll be a great game. I'm hoping we're going to win. Uh, then we can make it 2 and 1. Uh, assuming. I'm, oh, well, yeah. no, I'm not accounting away games, but home wise, I'm hoping. Um, so that's all the upcoming events this coming week. I know I screwed up the kind of outline that we're supposed to do. Um, this will should be released on YouTube and iTunes on the 14th this coming Monday. Don't have a time on when it will be released, but you'll see it on our Twitter if you follow us at nightly tiger or nightly at nightly underscore tigers. On Twitter, follow us there. I'm gonna make that tonight because I didn't plan ahead. Um, so I'll make that, <clears throat> and you can go and watch that. Share with your friends. Like and subscribe to the channel that it's on. That's the Cali Media channel. I'm pretty sure it is. Correct? Yes. If no. It doesn't exist. We'll make it. <laughs> exactly. We're gonna make everything from scratch. So. Um, we'll be back here recording, hopefully with Samaj and Michael on the 25th of September. Our theme that night is gonna be <laughs> college. Shut up, you guys. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> we'll be, uh, our theme on the 25th will be College Life Advice. That will come out on the 28th. So if, uh, that's another thing. For College Life Advice, please tweet at us any questions you may have. And also, because I'm going to be the only one seeing this stuff, please tweet um, any comedy movie quotes. That will be our game for next podcast. And then after that, when we do our next podcast of that is going to be finish my sentence. And if you have some really dumb Google searches, please, for the love of God, send them to me. <laughs> I want more than just what I found. And because even though the internet is widely stupid, it'd be awesome to find more than that. Or even just really, like, <clears throat> bad tweets or posts. Oh, yeah, horrible tweets. Horrible tweets. So, closing remarks, guys. You guys got anything you have to say? Not you two over there, but these two. Hi. No. Uh, okay, so Michael. Hi. Go ahead and start with Michael. I just want to say, I love you guys. <laughs> and I appreciate you. No, he doesn't. You might see. Um, I will eventually. Uh, like you can't see my face, but I have a smile on my face. You know. Uh, if I see any of y'all who like me, like, hey, it's that one guy's voice. I'm like, that creepy, but you know. Uh, <laughs> but I will, I will attack you guys with hugs. You attack them with hugs. Yep. They can actually hear you guys. It'd probably be too Good. short if you just spot me. Yeah. Alright, well, you're not that short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I pretty much said everything I want. Please, guys, I, I've wanted to do this for the past, like, two years. I'm actually excited I'm getting to do it with 
probably two of my best college friends right now. I don't hang out with you guys enough. Oh, okay. Say. I see how it is. <laughs> I see how You're it is. You're a secretary. You, want, you can switch doors. That's why he's back up. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> not sure. I will stay in Kimmel. But I hope you guys have a great weekend. Please come out tomorrow. Please come out to the different events. Please come out to Free Food uh, Day. <laughs> Constitution Day. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day or night, wherever you may be. And see you all next time. Bye!